So this is the Bemidji Water Tower. Uh, earlier this year, back when it was still cold, there was a uh, disturbance in the forest. And if you can see, there was some buckling of the main support. And then down here, there was a large one. There was water spewing from it at one point, I do know, but uh, didn't really get into a lot more than that. Now there's also some of these supports, like if you see this one here is no longer attached, and those other ones in the back are uh, not exactly taut as they are with the top ones. Now, what is causing this? Well, not entirely sure. There's another one off over there. So, uh, editing Rob here. Uh, I did a little bit of investigation and discovered that the claimed reason for this damage was an implosion uh, where the water that was in the tank somehow froze over and the water that was being drawn from it created a suction in that big tube that comes down and that's what caused this uh, this damage. I don't know whether that's true or not, but that's the claim. And there are people that are working on it that are much smarter at these things than me, so there you go. What they are doing, so, you know, they're going to be doing some work on it. But there's this big hole. And I always thought there was something in that hole. But I'm sure not seeing anything in there now. I mean, she's chunky. And there are some cables in there. But I don't entirely understand what's supposed to be in there. Is there supposed to be a big water? Uh, water pipe going through there? I don't know. I would guess not, because looking here, on the side, let's see if I can get a better shot, that looks like it is a water pipe. It goes into the ground here. That seems pretty water pipey to me. Except for one small detail. That looks to be an overflow pipe. Okay, so... I think it goes up. And then the top goes over. And you know, the access hatchways that they have in these. I think they're big enough to get a person in if there's a person that needs to get in there. And, uh... Looks like box elder bug time. <sighs> There's another angle of the big chunky bit. So, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't see where the water goes in. Unless it... Uh, is supposed to go in through, you know, big metal pipe that goes up through that center and it's just not there and this tower is not in use. I don't know. And there'd have to be a way for water to go in and for water to come out. And I don't know at what level, I don't know if this is treated water that goes in, if it's raw water. A lot of stuff I don't know about these things. Kind of curious now. So, <clears throat> I guess that's it for today, until I find out some more. I'm just really curious as to what's going on there. It seems like an interesting structural failure to me. So I've included um, a couple links down in the, the, the doobly-doo uh, from some reports that have already been made on this uh, from back in February. So you can have a look at those.
Uh, the other thing, I did a little bit of investigation on how the water towers work, and it got really kind of interesting. There's, uh, you ever seen cleaning a water tower? It's kind of cool. But that big riser tube that's in the middle, that, I guess, is supposed to be full of water. That's the tube that supplies it. But there isn't a pump. There isn't anything in there that pumps it up and down. It's The pump is somewhere else. And it pushes the water up into the storage tank. And then it gets released. So it's, it's, litter, it's like a big capacitor. Uh, it just stores all of this water until it's needed. And evidently it just got too cold and froze over and so I don't know the the structure of it just seems weird the structure of the failure seems weird to me but you know there are better people at that than me so all right I thought it was interesting see you guys